Welcome to the installment of the Screen Squad Presents. Welcome to the Stallman Stallmans. Welcome to another installment of the Screen Squad Presents. <laughs> our our weekend, uh, the week where we recap wrestling. Or uh, I know that we've been we lagged last week, and it was the holidays, and we it was we just didn't have a chance to recap wrestling. Did we miss anything? Not really. Not much. What? And then this and this week, this week it hasn't been. That, this week it was just what Raw was just best of and so we thought like okay well it, it's a good time to talk about like what we thought were the best matches of the year or i i, what I we predict for, for next and year and what we exactly what we predict what we, what we predict is going to happen next year i personally i i've already said that i think oh i i, I think uh for next year I, or what i want for next year is i want montez ford to to kind of become c- come more on the forefront a single star yeah become more of a of a single wrestler oh yeah easily because i he he i for sure can for foresee him see him becoming more of a, you, a superstar you don't get yoked up like that without without actually wanting to be like more yeah yeah no for sure there's there's a reason and and i could see superstar potential in in in, in montez he's, for sure he's, he's he's very uh sean michael-ish yeah and like I, I was going back and seeing the back catalog of all his other ma- all of his other matches and Dude, I can, I can definitely. You could see that he has that. He has that power. Yeah, imagine that. Uh, that frog splash. Oh yeah. Like, imagine he can go. Like how far he can go with it. Yeah, he's, he he could be able to do. And he could he could do way he could do way more. He, goes he has up. With, he goes up. With with the mass that he gained, plus and still be being being that high of a flyer. Like he's he has he has that potential. He has definitely yeah, definitely like has that, that potential. When, when Shawn Michaels went single, he went he he had a, he had a little yoke on him before, but then he got like like got Popeye ish for a little bit. Yeah, and with his chest hair and everything. But he's still he's still small. Montez Montez Ford well, isn't isn't, isn't isn't well, isn't exactly. I don't think he's that I don't think Montez Ford is small. No, he's not. He's he but he's, lean, but he's he's lean like he's he got he bulked up. He yeah I know definitely he with that up. bulk and. But he, he, it, it, had, he had to. He had to be buffered and Bianca Belair. Yes. But so I mean, I I I predict that Montez Ford's gonna be is gonna be they're gonna do something with him in regards to that. Like, uh, or at least I hope. Get, as long as he doesn't get injured. Uh, I hope I not. Can see, I can see him getting a Intercontinental title, a U.S. title, before before they've uh, fixed up the whole uh, heavyweight title uh, picture. And I want to see what they're gonna do with Bray Wyatt finally. It seems like they're now starting to like. He had a, he had a house show. Yeah. Uh, he had a, a promoter, so you know they're probably you know testing some stuff out with him. Finally. See how he's gonna work in the in the ring. Remember, it's been a while since he's been in the ring, so you know he's he he's kind of got a little little, little <laughs> bulk in his stomach as well. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's. <laughs> That's that's Ray Wyatt there, but I mean we'll 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 see what's gonna happen with that whole storyline with Alexa and and the whole clan thing and, and everything like, and Captain Howdy, all Uncle Howdy I mean, Uncle Howdy Captain Howdy is uh, that other movie is that D. one Snyder. movie yeah D. Snyder, D. Snyder. Um, I mean I, overall I, I I'm interested to see what's gonna happen with you know I'm disappointed that you don't know, remember the name of the word, the movie Strange Land Strange. Strange Land. Yes, you're right. You're it's right. Strange Land. Yeah. No, I remember Strange Land. Uh, we we reviewed it on the, on yeah, the main yeah. podcast. I know, I know. I I I I'm 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 curious to see what's going to happen with all of that. Uh, but I guess the the main reason, just overall for this year, I mean, this year really did bring me back to watch to watching wrestling. I think it was, I started where was it was it WrestleMania this year, that yeah. brought me back in, right? Because it was it was before SummerSlam that I started watching it. I think I came back right when right when it was uh, Stone Cold. I think it was because Stone Cold came back. Uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin came back to wrestle Kevin Owens. That was the reason why I was like, oh, I'm gonna watch this. I want to watch this. And I usually always watch WrestleMania. Well, technically, I always watch Royal Rumble. Every year I always watch Royal Rumble because Royal Rumble is always the most entertaining. This year wasn't. <clears throat> this year's wrestle. This year's Royal Rumble wasn't great. Right, it, it it was a miss this year. I didn't en- I didn't enjoy this year's Royal Rumble. Yeah. And um, we can blame Sean, uh, Shane McMahon for that one. Yes, yeah, definitely. Um, I did not like uh, this well, year's the, Royal he, Rumble. He, oh, well, his his thing he was trying to set it up so he can have a, a bigger 
entrance. Yeah, and then he, he ended he up was getting. The, he, was, he was the booker for the for the Royal Rumble, and then he ended up getting fired. He ended because of that, right? Because he yeah. ended up trying to give himself a bigger piece of the Royal Rumble, or give give himself a bigger piece of rest uh, of WWE overall, and that bl- bit him in the ass. But uh, I mean, it was in my opinion, it was in my the we- one of the weakest Royal Rumbles I've seen in a long time. And which I was like, okay, well, I, I st- at that point I, I didn't watch any any other wrestling until uh, WrestleMania that year, because and I was like, oh well, then I heard, okay, well, Kevin Owens was gonna fight Stone Cold, and I was like, oh okay, well this is gonna be interesting because Stone Cold hadn't wrestled in such a long time, and I know that it's been a while, but I didn't know any other storyline that year, none of the storyline for the year, right, none of them. I didn't know that Johnny Knoxville was going to fight Sami Zayn. I didn't know. He was in the Royal Rumble. Yeah, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I didn't know that he he was going to... I knew that he was in Royal Rumble because I saw him in the Royal Rumble. But I didn't know that he was going to fight Sami Zayn. I didn't know anything. Because, again, I didn't follow it after that. But then after all that happened, I started... I started following it. Why? Because that's that's when they announced that well, WrestleMania was going to be in, in Hollywood the following year, or that the, the next year was going to be. And because you saw Logan Paul and Miz, it's just that's what happened. Yeah, and the, well, I mean, again, I'm not a fan of Logan Paul. I am not, but I I enjoyed the I enjoyed the matches, and ever since then, I I got I got right back in, got right it's back into. It's frustrating to see a guy that naturally talented. That is ex- extremely be, frustrating because be, 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 be such a he he has no he, again it's 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 it just it just sucks that he's he Logan Paul he's yeah. Logan Paul and he's just that good at that good at wrestling, right? Because he's had three he's had three matches three matches Rey Mysterio and Dominic, right? Yeah, he was uh he was in a tag team with the, the Miz with the Miz then he then he fought the Miz then he fought yeah. Roman Reigns he's fought did three matches. All three matches have been decent, good matches. Yeah, they've been in, really good. They've been in, like, yeah, they've gone from decent to like the Roman Reigns one. The Roman Reigns match was in, was entertaining. It was it was so it was it was annoying how good it was that you were kind of thinking, oh no 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 don't tell me they're gonna give him the title. Don't, yeah, don't do I, it. that's what don't I do that's it. I I really thought mm. I really thought to a point that. He was that they were going to give him the title for some reason, for some dumb reason, he was going to somehow beat Roman Reigns, and he was he was going to be the champ, the undisputed. Like, I I mean just just it was just just something that was going to happen like that. Uh, luckily they didn't, but still it just I came out of it that day. I was like, wow, like there's no there's like there's no reason he should be this good, right? That there's yeah. no reason. Uh, That's a- some decent surprises this year, right? Seriously, and, uh, you you got to see uh, McMahon retire, uh, <laughs> <laughs> retire, uh-huh. um, and then you see Triple H, you know, take over booking this whole year, and uh, yeah. see the the drastic change in the way things are done in matches. You're seeing guys who, in, in all fairness, would not get the kind of push, get a, a bit of a push, or get more time to show what they can do, like, like you know, Ricochet. Ricochet's been around for for a cool minute already, and he has he's been. They've used him here and there, but they really didn't do anything. Now they're they've they've given him an actual problem to show off who he is. You know, Prince Puma, or King Ricochet. What do you want to call him? Well, yeah, he's 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 uh, he's doing his thing and he's he's showing everybody that he is that good. And that and that leads me to like one of the one of the top two matches that I that for me this year was. Ricochet versus uh, Santos Escobar for that World Cup. For thing. that World Cup, that to me was one of the best matches, and it was a match on SmackDown. Yeah, it was a, a big, match. Waste, not even not waste e- of a great match you that, put on the pay per view. That could have been a for free. Hundred percent could have been a could have been yeah. a premium live event match. A hundred percent could have been a premium live event match, and it was it was a SmackDown match, and it was such a great story told a match just in what they were doing like every match that ricochet has done since then has been great even his, even his pairing with like with, like fighting gunther Braun. and pairing with Braun, like all those matches but that match with santos escobar it was top tier like that to that that match on smackdown was amazing was great it it was one of the, it's that it, to me it was top two of the year it was because again, like if I were if I were to rate 
the top two matches of the year. That's wait, wait, number wait, wait, two. We'll talk, we'll talk about number one afterwards. Well, of course, yes. I know. That's just, if I was right, this is this is number this is my number two match of the year, right? Because, because it was do, because I, it was this was a, such an amazing match, and I I can go back and rewatch this match, and I have because it's such a good match, and I now because of this, you've sent me other matches like the match with like you said, I didn't even know I didn't even know about him being Prince Puma. And I go and I and I saw that match with Prince Puma and um and Rey Mysterio and I'm like damn, like you you go you go he, maybe a little bit like newer with uh when he faced uh, the Velveteen Dream in in NXT, just that setup alone was uh, for the match. Not even the match, but the setup for the match mm-hmm. was was really good too. Because you you see they're both athletic dudes, muscular dudes, who put their bodies on the line and is actually in. They tell they tell a great story when they wrestle, so and they know how to work with each other. Which didn't is great. didn't Ricochet recently just he also just wrestled Carmelo Hayes, right? I think he has. I'm not sure. Recently, recently too, because then they were do, they weren't they just doing those crossovers with NXT recently. But was that with Carmelo? I think it was Carmelo Hayes and Ricochet. I can't remember. It was before. It was. It was. It, was, it, was it be- wasn't Wesley. It was before Wesley got the. It was before oh, yeah, Wesley then, yeah, won the yeah. won the won the, won the championship. Yeah, because he went he went over to wrestle because he was like, uh, pointing out that you know he's held that title. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, but Carmelo Hayes no joke. I mean NXT's got some got some got some dudes in there who can do some stuff. I can I can work on the mics. I can see some of those guys being pulled up being called up to the main roster, right? I think I think a bunch of them aren't ready for a spotlight, but I think they're ready for the ring. No, yeah, for sure. I can see some of them being pulled up, not not be. Uh, main event potential, but like side story potential in, in main roster for sure. I mean, Braun Breaker's pretty close. I think he's. I think Braun Breaker's done everything he can at NXT at this point. Yeah, but I mean, it just all depends on how where he's going to fit in in the main roster, so he's not lost. Oh no, yeah, that's that. You, you, have, you have to find you have to you have to find a good spot for him because there is a possibility that he can be. You you can't get lost in the main roster. Yeah, he's a big dude. So there's a bunch of dudes there. Yeah, a lot of them Aaron are big Cross dudes. Cross is a big guy. Um, and look at look at what's American happening Tire. with them. Yeah, yeah. Mike Tyre is a big guy. Well, the, I mean, Karrion Cross is probably gonna be one of the last guys that uh, Rey Mysterio faces, you know, for a while. Maybe, so, perhaps. So I think that's 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 a big lucha thing, and uh, the Karrion Cross works well with lucha guys. Uh, he's in his uh, past promotions he's been to. Mm-hmm. Reese worked pretty well with uh, Lucha guys, so that actually should be a uh, fun fun matches to watch here and there. That depends on how old uh, Rick, uh, Rey Mysterio tends to look in the ring. Yeah, I mean, I, I can I can see for the next coming year a lot of the guys from NXT crossing doing doing some of the like moving up to the main roster. I, I can actually, see Carmelo Hayes, right? Oh, I, Carmelo Hayes is easily for ready. sure. I can see I can see Carmelo Hayes. I can see Braun Breaker, right? I can see definitely see Braun Breaker, Carmelo Hayes. Um, I can see what okay. Um, yeah, wasn't I could, Waller not yet for sure Waller not well, yet I, Waller I, 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 I could I could see Waller being the being the 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 heel for a while at NXT because they need they need, they need, that, they like need that they need they yeah they need that heel at NXT right um because because M- M- McDonough like and you know because I know now that they have they have uh the U- NXT UK guys right there. right and and they have William Regal back right they have William Regal back even though he's behind the scenes he can't be on he can't be on screen yet for a while right he's he's gonna be Tyler, working behind Tyler the scenes Bateman scene. who uh, from Tyler UK? Bates Tyler Bates Bates whatever you want mm-hmm. it's like you're thinking Bates Tyler Bates Bate. something Tyler Bates I think it's Tyler Bates yeah um, whatever the guy you who does that the guy who does that the guy who does that thing on the on the uh, on the ring, on the ropes, he does that oh, the, the shoulder thing on the ropes. He calls everybody. What what is what does what does he call everybody? The big boy. The uh, I forgot what he calls people. Like I forgot it'll, what he says. It'll come to you later. Yeah, eventually. I, I, I'm, I, 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 like, oh, I I'm, I'm not. I'm not a. I'm not NXT UK. I, I I was first introduced to them when they did that crossover, that takeover thing. Yeah. Yeah, where they like that was the first time I was introduced to a lot of, the, a lot of people from the UK one, but a lot, a lot of the, the female talent in uh, in NXT, so they're they're either close to ready or almost ready for a main roster push. But yeah, they'll, they'll be, I, I mean they'll because be lo- they'll be lost within the, within mm, the women. In the, in, no, because in they no because they, they they really need to clean up like like we said last time they really need to figure out what they want to do with the female the the, well, they, the female they roster. Have, they, they have female uh, wrestlers in the main roster. 
who aren't being used because they're like, we don't know what to do with them. I know. They just like, need to and, figure and, out and what they need to do with it. And they're like, like Zia Lee, talented. Uh, she came from 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 NXT. No one knows to do with her. You got uh, uh Nikki uh, Nikki Cross, who uh, in in the past has had you know like quality matches outside the promotion. Came in, they didn't know what to do with her, and she figured out the Nikki ASH thing, and that you know finally get went away. She apparently she was almost a hero long enough to become the villain. Yeah, well, well <laughs> she lost so many times, yeah. and then well, I mean, and then Dewdrop, to, then Dewdrop disappeared <laughs> all yeah, of a which, sudden. Which I'm hoping to bring back the Viper, which would be nice. And then you have yeah. you have Valhalla, like which is what's his name, Sarah. Sarah Logan. Sarah, Sarah, Ro- Logan, 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 Sarah Logan. Sarah Logan. Yeah. Right. Uh, uh, so who, who? I mean, all fairness, when she was uh, in the main roster before part of the the riot squad, uh-huh. was the was the throwaway character of all of them because it was kind of like eh, maybe maybe not. But to see her, you know, come back and have another chance to reinvent herself, be kind of cool to see where she goes. You got a uh, uh, Liv Morgan works better as you know the crazy one. Which is fine. She's getting better and better every time. Yeah. After after they after they took the, after they took the um the women's title away from her, <clears throat> and I think she's I think she's better off not being the champ. Even though like I know she, she because she, I know people liked her and they wanted her to be the champ and they rooted for her after she became the champ. Her, her like she she her skill you could tell her skill wasn't there but now her she's he's working on her skill her skill's getting better it's just still not there right they, they didn't give her they didn't give her the balboa title run yeah um, no you, you know how, like you know what i mean by that Where, like he won the big won the big match and then balboa fought a bunch of you know people for a while so he was a champ for a while before he retired mm-hmm. uh with uh before he fought drago they needed that big match to kind of bring him back in to like a, a bigger picture. That's mm-hmm. kind of what she needed. She needed that little like, you know, fight rest of people who are on her level or, or under barely for a while. But they just threw uh, Ronda in there real quick. Yeah. And Ron and even Ronda says, you know, she'd be, she'd be open. She would love to like have a, a tag team title run. Her, her and Shane would be kind of a nice little tag team. That wouldn't but be a bad get, idea. But you got to get that title off her. But they need, uh, but they need a manager. <laughs> no, yeah, they, they need some. Them. They need somebody that speak for them. Yeah. Right. They need somebody. They they need to be like. I they mean, need like a Paul Bearer. Or, you know, like remember, like Paul Bearer Paul would Bear. speak. like Paul Bearer used to speak for Kane and the Undertaker. Oh yeah. He, he used to. He used to, he, used, he was their mouthpiece. They yeah. need somebody like that that would do the talking for them, or at least like they'll do very little talking, and that manager would do more of the talking for them, like an MVP. Like you see, like like well, like, uh, like they, they're gonna be like a hundred percent. I I I have a feel that feeling there's gonna be hurt business two point oh two, right? There's gonna be that, right? So they should do something like that, like find find something, so, find somebody that can be a manager for both Shayna and Ronda, right? Well, but I think they're 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 uh they're wait, they're trying to hope that. Put them together. Eventually, one of them will be more of a mouthpiece. Mm-hmm. Do do like quick spurts in talking, but even then, their timing is so off that it it feels like they're stopping. So you go, all right, you're next. You're it. It's like no, you can't be doing that. They have to be able to kind of smoothly go over. They they want they really want to do more of an APA thing, and I think that that will work out with them. Remember APA? Yeah, yeah, with uh, Bradshaw and mm-hmm. Farouk. Damn. Yeah, back, yeah, when you got when you got the damn thing going on. Yeah, uh, uh-huh, yeah, yeah. So you had uh, Bradshaw can talk. Yeah, he can stand there and talk talk your ear off, and then do and do all the talking, set everything up for the damn. Yeah, at the end, they need that from one of them. They need at least one of them needs to do it, or else they need to find a way to to mesh in their talking styles so it comes out smooth. They're not there yet. Because they're actual. I mean, they're, they they can they can they're, 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 they, they came from real from like like MMA fighting. Yeah, they they can they can fight. That's the thing. They can fight. They can do the moves. Although lately, uh, the, the, they they, they they've been well. botching a lot. They've been botching a lot. Like the last match with with Shotzi, uh, which I like, I I know why because you know you kind of want to you want to prevent accidents, but. It still looks very sloppy overall, and and that's kind of another bad thing. Is I like Shotzi. Shotzi to me is she's a good wrestler. Shotzi's a good wrestler, uh, but the problem is is that uh, 
it just it just everything was very sloppy and it was kind of weird to throw a shot seat as a number one contender randomly and just do it random like it's like it feels like they were just throwing anyone everyone all of a sudden to be anyone number one contender yeah there's a, there's a thing there was, a there thing. was there was there was no he, there was no rhyme or reason to what they were doing well there's a thing called a, a, a ring general there's a usually one person can help gunther no, no a ring general as in like uh, they uh one person it's like like a, like in a dance you have the lead the who leads you know we put the, the isn't that what they call yeah. gunther though the ring general uh, kind of what they call himself whatever that's a different thing uh but it, in the ring you need to have someone lead the match mm -hmm. and ronda's not there yet where she can lead the match that's why her best matches have been with people who can normally lead matches like, like charlotte. charlotte like yeah like charlotte which which you know what she, you know she's gonna come back for a come on or like you becky know happen or like becky oh, like becky can becky does the same thing mm -hmm. bailey can can do it too that's uh all, all the the four horsewomen of wrestling, they they can do that. Yeah, they they, you know? they can they can lead matches. It's usually the veterans, people who have been doing it longer, can lead a good match. They know how they they can they, they have the feel for okay. it. Yeah, that's true. See, that's the thing. Did they need to rely more on their veterans to kind of do that kind of stuff? Yeah, but for how long do you want to keep doing that before you create more more people? Yeah, like they, you, 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 you these these veterans can need help other wrestlers go <laughs> no they have to teach <laughs> they have to teach right that's yeah, the thing they have... they have to teach they have to teach the kids right so they have, to, they have to teach the new newer generation that's kind of and that's something that even if you can read what like Dolph Ziggler was saying Dolph Ziggler's like he doesn't like Dolph Ziggler's been around for a while and he is something he was saying that like he doesn't mind he doesn't mind like like being part like being the, the the elder statesman and teaching yeah. people but he still wants to be part he still wants he still has stuff to contribute right okay so, Dolph Ziggler is a very underutilized underappreciated guy he's a guy he literally is the second coming of of Shawn Michaels if you ever watch if you watch his wrestling he basically is uh he is he definitely is Shawn Michaels he know he's in a, he, in a, in he's a bigger good. body, but that's oh, what, yeah. but that's but that's what I'm saying. They they need people like like Dolph Ziggler that are willing are willing to be able to 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 want to teach the younger generation, the newer generation, and that's, and, and that's and, why a lot of them went that. to to NXT to help help teach them how to guide guide matches. Yeah, Paul Cruz it, went down there to help out help out our uh, um what's the name uh, blah, 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 Breaker mm -hmm. Ron Breaker. You you have uh, like Ricochet with uh, Carmelo. Mm -hmm. See if he's ready. You know, kind of, they they use these guys to help guide them so that they can learn, so that when they're ready to come up, they can help you know, like lead matches and and you know set up this performance. Yeah. They do. See, because because then because then you can get those you can get those matches from from like from from the from the from everyone like like you get like the ricochets and the santoses or or the charlotte the charlotte flares and the ronda like the ronda and, and the, a big one big one lately. Who's that? Who's proven that he? I mean, he's always been able to do it, but his matches have gone too good to like. Holy crap, they're so good. Your number one guy, Sheamus. Sheamus, Sheamus and Gunther. Like yeah. that, that, that match that they had, right? The first match that they had for the Intercontinental, the where, where that 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 match, where even, yeah, I believe even what was it? ESPN said that that was match of the year. Right. Yeah, I think it was uh, at the Clash of, Clash of the Castle. I believe it was right. Yeah, when you had the brawling brutes fight around them, they're both just standing there watching each other, not not even worried about anything else. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they they just they they rock that show. That and then whole show. and that's the thing, like and Sheamus, you can tell Sheamus, um, puts his body on the line in that one. Look, like, he's already pale. He has no color. He is. <laughs> he has literally he's he's translucent right yeah and, so he, and he, he's not tanning when that's uh, him tanning and when he takes bumps <laughs> when he takes bumps right you could tell the welts like when he left that match holy Red crap marks. dude holy crap the slaps yeah. the hits like by the end of the match you can tell like like he was he tried to do the bro kick i don't know how much of it was like was kayfabe how much was like was real or whatever that's what that's how i knew it was such a good match because i he sold it to me whether it was real whether it was fake or not i was like holy crap he gave his all in that match and 
his matches went from like okay to like bro like every match that i've seen him since then has been they've all been great from it's been solo matches to brawling brute matches all of them been great like even even the last one even this 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 war games match that they had yeah. all of them have been great right but match of the year has been gunther for me gunther against she the, the gunther against sheamus yeah and i can't argue with that i can't they, it was such a good match this, this whole year i mean drew mcintyre's had some good matches this year mm -hmm. so uh, Rick, ricochet's santos match was great but i yeah I, I can't beat that in my mind i cannot think of a, a better match this whole year than uh than shame and sheamus and and, even, and gunther and even going back to like even even going to aew matches i think still because of just planning how how this how the matches to tell how the match tells a story sheamus and gunther that's yeah. still like t t still told the best story was it is exciting and you 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 get you get you get involved you're you were there right you were there in the match so it's just it, it to me that that was match of the year so I, and if if 2023 brings more matches like that it's it's going to be good, right? I I can just foresee more things like that. And if you give me more matches and allow 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 the ta not don't do it like AEW where like you were like you were saying earlier like when we were talking where you allow a like the inmates to run the prison, right? Right. The asylum. Right. Yeah, the inmates to run the asylum, right? Where but like have them have input in regards to the uh, to, to like Ricochet and Santos matches. Sheamus mm -hmm. and Gunther, give me more fight, uh, matches in that type of uh, on that level. I think premium live events, even SmackDown, even Raws can be that good. And 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 and, and allow that in the women's division. Find find something in the women's division that's gonna work. Figure something out with it because right now. Even with this last, this whole thing with, I don't even know what they're trying to do with Raquel. I know they're trying to make, push her to eventually like do that, like take on Ronda too. Yeah. But again, well, I, gonna, I, I don't have the, the powerhouse match versus the technician. Yeah. And that's not how we're going to do things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we wrestle. Choke slam, choke slam. Uh, I mean, I, I yeah. I, I, I've been, I've been working on that on that Ric Flair slap with them. It's just he doesn't woo. He doesn't woo. <laughs> eventually, right, eventually. eventually. Yeah. Woo, right? Woo. Eventually, but I mean, like, what, 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 what would I, what would you want to see in twenty twenty three? What would you want to see come coming up, like in any of these premium live events? I, I want to, I want to see this thing get. Uh, honestly, I want to see. A return to you know, dang, I don't know. There's so much I want to say. I want to see a return to to uh, Survivor Series matches. Remember how the elimination matches? Mm -hmm. But have good, like not have them all be like that. Just have one or two that are actually good. Mm -hmm. I think that's one way you can, you can do that. Yeah, uh, that things you can have. Uh, I, I want I want to see someone literally scare uh, Roman Reigns' this title uh, title reign. And I want to see what they're gonna do with the if they're gonna to decide to split up the, split up the titles. I mean, they do. It, I think it, I, I think, think it's they yeah, I think it's time. I think it's time to split them up. It's been too long. It's been undisputed, like unified, right? You you yeah. you need to split them up at this point. If you if you have a women's Raw and women's SmackDown, you should have at this point, right? Because I, look, I think... you you have you ha you have a, the working man's title in in the Intercontinental Championship, right? Yeah. You should have. Somebody from Raw, somebody from SmackDown, always working, right? Because Roman Reigns is a part-time champion. Well, I think I think the what they need to address is, okay, we got you got one guy with, with both titles. I think one uh, one title should be defended on night one. The other title should be defended on night two. I think that's that's one way to go do it. I think that might be the way to do it. Yeah. Uh, unless something happens in the at the Royal Rumble. Or uh, or the pay per view afterwards, mm -hmm. which I don't know which it is gonna be this year, but yeah, I think once that happens, we'll have a clear picture of if they decide to do that or not. Yeah, I mean, 
Personally, I, I, I've, I've been saying this. I just want to see The Rock return. <laughs> I want to see The Rock fight at WrestleMania. I want to see John Cena fight at WrestleMania, but he'll fight this Friday. I know he's fight, fighting tomorrow night at SmackDown, for sure, this Friday at SmackDown. Uh, but I, I mean... If 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 we'll see, because they're talking, they're talking about WrestleMania. Might you, we might see Stone Cold again. We might see John Cena. We might see The Rock. There's so much up in the air, but we don't know until after Royal Rumble because that's when everything needs to be locked in, right? So we don't know, right? We don't know. Right. <laughs> right. But we'll, we'll see. We'll see because everything's coming up soon. Right, everything's coming up soon. <laughs> everything's coming up pretty soon. So, I mean, we'll we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see coming up with uh, what's going to happen with with uh, with WWE and NXT, right? Um, we'll see who's going to be called up. We'll see who, who's going to be called who's going to be called up for in uh, to the main roster from NXT. Yeah, from NXT. Cause we and they just they just they just explained this other new dude Dragon Dragon Lee, which I have no idea who Dragon Lee is, but I'm I'm gonna start looking up some of his matches, see who that is. So hopefully, hopefully we'll hopefully we'll hopefully we get to see who um you know who's gonna be pulled who who's gonna be called up to the main roster in 2023. I think, I, I think this might be a, the year that uh, Braun Breaker goes up. I think uh, Carmelo Hayes is gonna make a. Probably a, a one of those uh, WrestleMania call-ups. I, I mean, think the, the raw, <laughs> the raw after WrestleMania is gonna be the most important yeah. one this year, though. I think had Mandy Rose not gotten fired, I think she would have been called up back to the main roster. Yeah. Right. I think Toxic Attraction might be getting called up to the main roster for sure. Yeah, they, they gotta prove they, they that they can do things without having Mandy Rose's name on there. Yeah, they're gonna but have I, to. I, I, I think Mandy Rose might come back this year. You think so? I think I think uh, I think because they're getting heat. The WD is getting heat that they it's a double standard with uh, I mean, a lot of things that they've been doing with the double, like with uh, letting her go and other things not being other people not being let go. So um, I think I think they're probably they probably they might they might bring her back. I have a feeling. Yeah, they just gotta let things you know die down for a bit. I mean, no one but, really, no one, she's, she's no one really, making, no one really cared. More money do, she made more money doing that. Yeah, but I, I again, <laughs> but I, but that's the thing. I don't think no one really cared other than them. They're the only ones that cared. Well, they're still a publicly traded uh, company, and and they're still technically a family company. So that's why they, that's why there's not you know crazy like you know blood all over the place. It happens, but they're not the same. Hmm. Uh, they're not. They they just went just started going back to TV fourteen. So I mean. You, you you have the whole idea is you know families are still watching these things, but I think you're realizing that the demographic is still you know you know guys like guys like us or uh or guys and they want to reach the the uh, the uh, twelve year old and above, not just under that because under that you know. But they have to realize that the twelve year olds don't pay, don't don't aren't the ones that are paying for the exactly. memberships. They're not paying for the they're not paying for the merch. Um, it's pe- it's it's actually the people you know like look at what AEW is doing AEW they flip they they're doing what the attitude area attitude era is doing right yeah so, and that's what that's what people are enjoying even though it's it does feel a little bit even though it's a, it they they put money in production it is it does lower budget right it, it feels it feels like an indie like indie thing yeah like, uh, like it's still like an uh, indie program a promotion. Doing their thing, but it but it is you can you can't deny that it's sometimes more exciting sometimes to watch the AEW matches oh, because it can, but you know but it is I, dangerous it is dangerous sometimes when you see some of the stuff that they do. You know I can I can I can have my son get on the roof and do a do a backflip onto onto like a bunch of sponges and be completely safe but still do it. After a while, okay, get over it. I'm done. I mean, give me something something you know. You know, special now. Yeah, but that's a, that's the difference between AEW and WWE. A, it, WWE gives you the storylines. They gives you they give you the production value. They give you they give you that extra something special. AEW gives you that the excitement, the action, and all that yeah. other stuff, right? So the flippity flippities. Yeah. So, I mean, we'll we'll see what twenty twenty three does. But again, I I think personally, out of out of the out of the year, the matches the the best matches came from WWE. So yeah, so far. Uh, 
I think at the uh, the overall matches, yeah, because storyline, match quality, everything came in, in two of the two matches that yo, know, I mean, more people should uh, have talked about. You have the Santos match, and you have mm-hmm. the uh, Santos Ricochet, and you have the Gunther uh, Sheamus matches. Mm-hmm. And but the, uh, the uh, but the most talked about thing came from AEW was the CM Punk no. thing. The CM Punk thing. No. Uh, the retirement. Oh that, no, that, that's, that's true. That's, that's a, true. That's, a that's the that's the biggest thing. That was technically the biggest thing. Yeah. That's that in any any year, it's gonna be more important because not having Vince be part of. Well, that's team. yeah, because Vince McMahon is big is bigger than than CM he's, Punk any day. He's almost he's almost bigger than wrestling in general. He technically, if you think about it, he is wrestling at this point. It, without Vince, there is no AEW. There, yeah, that's true. So. Yeah, that that it, this is so, and I I don't I don't think he'll ever be back. All the talk of back in, I'll take you back in guest spots, but they're gonna give us some time before he comes out. Yeah, but I don't think he'll ever be back in any like actual capacity of running anything. No, of course not. No, no it's not 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 with people knowing that. No, no, just because no, uh, there's no way. Yeah, it, it's 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 runs it's been run so well without him. That it just it'll just take get people to just kind of like drop down and go Neh. yeah no there's yeah there's definitely no way that they would they would bring him back um or or allow him to run anything anymore even the de- even the board I don't think that I don't think any board would allow anything like that to happen so I mean maybe the the whichever board that Carrot Top's on <laughs> but <laughs> but, the board. but but ultimately but but uh, but, uh, but on that note I th- I think. I think 2023 is going to be is going to be a good year, and uh, I think Triple H is I think Triple H is doing a, a decent job. I mean, as long as they can continue doing matches like we said earlier, um, in the vein of the of the Ricochet matches and the Gunther and Gunther and uh, Sheamus matches, uh, and just 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 figuring out what they want to do in the women's division, I think that's going to be key. Figuring out what they're going to do with the women's division. Right, and not just trying to like brush them aside. Figure figure something out. Well, you also, you all, I mean, yeah, you're right. I think uh, as long as injuries don't don't become an issue, you can see a women's division always come up mm-hmm. more and more. But sometimes those injuries come in, and you're like, ah, let me go back to old reliable. Let's put so and so in here, and until oh we yeah, but another, but another that's it. But that's every that's that's but that's everybody. That's everybody, right? In- you can't you can't help an injury. In- injuries yeah, can but, happen. But you have more people stepping up in, in the regular in the men's matches mm-hmm. than you do in in the women's because. They, they need to be groomed to properly, uh, to properly, you know, step in there mm. and get ready for that spotlight. That's a major spotlight now. It used to just be like, all right, we're gonna be part of this show. Yeah. Now that's a major spotlight. You put your uh, women's matches can be headlines. Can be can be headliners in uh, in any pay per view. Especially as long as you're you're ready for that spotlight. Boom. Yeah. You'll be fine. Yeah, well, I mean, I mean, we'll we'll see we'll see we'll see how it goes I, I, in in this coming year. So I want I want to see Rhea Ripley uh get a get a universe uh, uh the the U.S. title or something. I I definitely want to see Rhea Ripley do anything. You know me. Yeah, I know. I so want I I want to see Rhea Ripley do anything. I want to see her go up against the Key to Lions. That'd dream be dope. dream match. Mm-hmm. That'd be dope. That would be a great match. Just let me see that. Take it back to Attitude Era. Right here, just that'll be right here, plain nonstop. That'd be an Attitude Era um, like throwback match. That's right. Okay. So, so, on that note, this has been Vinny. This is Ozzy. Uh, we'll see you guys next week. All right.